Hello guys, the Duo Momo will be here with my next generation one review. This is Hot Rod. Now I have already done a review on him, but I was using my other camera and I, it was all too close and you know, I didn't like that one. So, and now I'm not even using my camera, I'm using my iPod to do this. So, and yeah, I'll show you. See, right there. My iPod. But you can't really see it there. It's in this roll of tape. Yeah. But I can move it up and down and stuff. Like so. Yeah, as, as long as I got something. Um, Hot Rod. Are you reviewing him? But, uh, we're gonna do a new one. Very nice. You can see my Transformers there in the back, too. On my shelf, I have my. Um, three major ones. Then I have my Generation One. I know. My animated. My movie. My Revenge of the Fallen. And down there is just a mixture of a bunch of other TV shows. Yeah. And you're probably wondering where's Prowl? Prowl Brook. And a lot of my other ones are lost. You actually have some more in my box or that I just haven't put up there yet. I forgot about them. But yeah, um, Hot Rod. Yeah, I like. This is actually my first G1 figure. It's the um, sort of third one that I ordered. I actually ordered Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper together um, first, but they went to my stepmom's house. So, um, we, well, no, not my step, my mom's house. So I had to wait till I saw her to get them, but I ordered him and he came in like a week. So yeah, he didn't come with the stickers, so I might order some repro labels, uh, I don't know. It doesn't really bother me all that much. Um, but yeah, his transformation is very simple. Pull out his legs. That. Flip up his feet, and his feet are die cast. Um, I don't really have anything I'm just show you. Well, I don't have anything metal, actually. So I'm gonna chain up and see. But, um, yeah. Now I'm gonna take his arms and fold them out. Turn this piece around. And the orange is actually a different color than what's showing up on camera showing up as peach but yeah then you want to take this push it up sort of push his head up too and then you'll be able to pull this out flip his head around this way I know on a lot of reviews it showed to do it that way but it actually goes this way because if you look there's like peg there and it just snaps right into there and it looks a lot better because you can see this entire thing when it's this way it doesn't and it's all loose and crap so I do that this little flap just goes right in there to that hole, tabs right in there. Alright, pull this out a little bit so we can get it. Take this back piece and rotate it around. And this is all die cast too, and uh, if I turn it back around here, it looks out. There are seats actually molded in there. You can't really see it right now because I can't. I really move the light too much to help. So yeah, now you can see it. But, yeah. The light back up there don't follow me. But, yeah, turn this, rotate this up this way. And uh, oh, his foot went in. Is that good? Then turn his arms, or his forearms, around so. He, do that. There you go. Hot rod. Yeah. Hot rod. Yeah. Very nice figure. Um, it's not very articulated, but again, it's a G1 figure. And, uh, yeah, um, of, um, his articulation, you can do that. He can swivel right here, and he can bend at the elbow, and he could move his hands, but. He's block it, so yeah, he, he, he can also move his feet. And if you had his head like the... Now, if you have it like this, he can, you just have to grab it. He 
can look, oh crap, hold on, you can untab it and you can look up so you can have it flying, but if you have it the other way, like on a lot of other reviews, like that, you'll be able to look down, but yeah, I'm going to put that back. Alright, um, let's do some size comparisons here with some more modern Transformers, like Skids. Let's see, he's taller than Skids. So, yeah. Now let's do a little bit of a taller figure, because everyone knows Skids are much less short. Ah, he's that tall. Um. Okay, animated Grimlock in his, uh, dinosaur mode, uh, yeah. He might be a little bit taller, depends on how you post Grimlock, though. Um, yeah, he's and then let's do some G1 size comparisons. Oh, size comparison. Bumblebee. <laughs> yeah. And then, with movie leader class, Megatron. I'm not gonna hurt you, Hot Rod. Help me. <laughs> yeah, you can see he's pretty... Hot Rod's not actually not that short for a G1 figure. Um, I've seen a reviewer... They did a size comparison with smoke screen. Well, I was watching a smoke screen review and they did a size comparison with him and he was way taller. But yeah. Again, I have a very special review coming up. Um, if you can guess what that is, please leave a comment on my page or on this video. I've, re I've told people about it in a few other videos. Um, it's, you know, I'm just going to give you a hint. It's a G1 figure figure. Yeah. yeah. So if you can guess that, um, that would be cool. Which, G1 figure will help a lot with you guessing. Oh, don't fall back, Megatron. Oh, and it's a very, ex it's usually, I think it's usually very expensive. It depends on where you get it from. Um, yeah. Um, We'll transform them back. And, uh, I'm going to do that off camera. So, yeah, so I can do size comparisons with that because I forgot to. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, be right back. Holy crap, that was fast. Yeah, um, we're back here for size comparisons. Um, Hot Rod with animated Bumblebee. About the size of a deluxe class right here, too. Hot Rod with G1 Cliff Jumper. Hot Rod with Movie Line Scorponok. I'm pretty sure almost every person who has Transformers has Scorponok. So, yeah. Um, but yeah. If you have... I got this guy for, um... 15 bucks on eBay. And like I said, he didn't come with all the stickers. So he only came with... I would have been really pissed off if it didn't come with the flame stickers, but Hot Rod's got to have flame stickers, so I guess that's the only ones you put on there. Um, yeah. Uh, this was the only one up there that was for, like, 15 bucks, so I'm, I doubt you're going to find it up on eBay for 15 bucks again. Um, yeah, but this is the Jewel and Bumblebee here with Transformers Generation 1 Hot Rod. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya.